control. We talking about self-will. Am I right? Amen. So if you got self-control, you don't get angry that quick. So you know how to control your anger, right? Amen. What's the biggest problem some of us have? Speaking. Speaking. And control is not just you know, speaking is action. Mm. Sometimes it's just, um... Sometimes self-control is just thinking. Right. Controlling that thought. Controlling that, I should have said, but I didn't. And y'all ever got that way? I, I, I could have said it, but I didn't. Huh? Right. That's not how to control your tongue. But I did. And, and, and see, when you were in uh, Proverbs 15... And you know, I don't mean to cut y'all, but even in struggling... That's self-control. Control yourself from having to do those things. You don't have to do, you don't have to have habits. You want to have those habits. So if you learn self-control, you won't have that habit. Oh, boy, there we go. Self-control. I don't have to have that. You don't have to. You want to. What, what's the first word in control we're talking about? Self. self. <laughs> Who is it dealing with? Me. I. What does it deal with? Me and I. <laughs> so self-control means having control over who? Uh -huh. Me, myself, me. And I. myself. Been, just what she said. Me, myself, me. and I. We spend too much time trying to control other folks than we are. But you know what, Pastor? <laughs> Even in self-control, like she said, me, myself, and I. But mm -hmm. we try to take me, myself, and I and blame it on everybody else. Mm -hmm. And right. else ain't in self-control. Else ain't in me, myself, and I. It's about me. But we try to take me, myself, and I and blame it on everybody else when it already, the problem is me. So stop taking situations that you cause and blame it on everybody else and deal with you. And here's the biggest problem we have. If y'all don't mind, please go to James chapter 3 real quick. This is where self-control, this is what gives us in drugs. You say Jones Chapter 3. Beginning at verse 3. We got to say amen. Amen. Listen to what it says. Behold, we put bits in the horse's mouth, mm -hmm. and they may obey us. Mm -hmm. And we turn about their whole body. Behold, also the ships with though they be so great and are driven of fierce wind, yet they are turned about with a very small hand. Whatsoever the governor listens, that's the stirring. Mm -hmm. Even so the tongue is a little member and boasts great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindled. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defiled the whole body and set it on fire the course of nature and it set on fire of hell. For every kind of beast and of birds and of serpents and of things in the sea is tamed and has been tamed of mankind. But the tongue can no man tame. It is unruly evil full of deadly poison. That tongue. That tongue. It's so little, but it's so powerful. It is. That's the most powerful thing in the world. Tongue can start a war. Tongue can start a fight. Tongue can start a fight. Oh, yeah. That little thing can get you in trouble. Tongue can take a life. Yes, it can. Mm.
I'm just open on some things. Like, when it comes to family, especially like my parents or my kids, they ain't know. I'm ready to get you, but I'm learning. Okay, God, I'm gonna let you do it. The feedback on Cleveland is five and it was five and four. And what about when you five and four? Yeah. When I vow a vow, I do not put off paying it. I keep my promises. Just like when God, when Jesus died on the cross, He didn't put off dying. Mm -hmm. He did it. Well, see, in your book it said He has no pleasure in foods. No. So when people do foolish things, and if you look in Proverbs or anywhere in the Bible that, if you look up the word fool or foolishness or foolish in any of the scriptures that is based on in the Bible, and it talks about that word, anything that goes under that, and if a person is acting, I would say, based upon that, then he's not having anything to do with it. Period. He just told you. Simple. But just like I had everybody to read, and that, that Bible right there, I think that Bible right there is about 35, 40 books. Bible book store, I get you the name of it. It's a youth Bible. All you have to do is get you one. You probably can get one out of Walmart. Those youth Bibles are really good. Just because it says youth don't mean it's for teenagers. But those Bibles, those kind of Bible, that Bible right there is really good because it, you know, it breaks it down even more. But... That's just what it says. Like, like I said, he said, when I vow, vow, I do not put off pain. I keep my promise. Like I said, mm -hmm. when Jesus died on the cross, he couldn't put off pain. He couldn't put off down on the cross. He couldn't put off going through the crucifixion. He had to do it. He couldn't just, okay, I don't want to do it. Then we'll do it next week. He couldn't do it. He had to do it. So why when we tell God we're going to do something, why do we think it's okay to say, well, God ain't going to do it today. I'll get it together next week. Why do we think we got that much time to do it? Why do we think that's okay to do that to God, but it, it won't, it's okay for, it won't okay for Jesus to put out down on the cross for us? Why do we think that's okay? Because you don't know we're going to be living to see you next week or next day. But people think that's okay, though. And it's just a typical conversation between me and you, though. Yeah. But this is the kind of conversation people have. Well, Lord, I'm going to stop smoking next week. I'm, I'm not ready right now. Yeah, that's a lie. Well, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. That's a value made to God. But you told, but you said Sunday, Lord, I ain't gonna smoke no more after the day. But mm -hmm. then when you leave out of church, you said, well, Lord, I stop, I stop next week. I, I'm not ready right now. Mm -hmm. But He just said, and it's right there in Ecclesiastes five and four. Mm -hmm. So don't make God no promises if you're not really ready to do it. Because if you say.